you how to make your own custom designs, how to use the Picasa tool. So now we're going to go back in and show you a little bit more detail and information. So as you've seen so far with Picasa, the tool that we use is the collage tool and that really helps us out. It throws in the pictures for us and makes things really, really easy, but also um, where a lot we can use whatever designs we want. So let's say we wanted to make a curtain using all of these images. As you can see, they've popped up all down here as well. So we're just going to double check, make sure those are selected. And we're going to hit collage. Um, we're going to go back and hit our curtain tool. And again, the picture pile tool is the one that's going to throw all these images just anywhere. Um, let's say though that we wanted to make this image back here, our background image just hit set as background and there it is. Now the problem is once it's set as a background um, we're limited to what we can do. It basically just puts the image dead center. So why don't we try this? We're going to click on the image, hit view and edit and we're going to crop it. Manual crop and we're going to try and get her as centered as we possibly can. And then we're going to hit apply. And then we're going to go back to our collage. So now, when we select the photo and hit set as background, there, much more centered. And then we don't want to use the same photo twice, so we're just going to delete that. And then we're going to just enlarge these photos here and there. Maybe we want to add a little tilt on one of these. So here we go. Put this one up in the corner. And then we'll just try to make these more or less the same size. And so we're going to go to settings and picture borders. So as you can see, we instantly are able to add some borders. It'll make the border white. Um, we can have them shadowed or not. And if you wanted to, you can do more of like a Kodak type. But again, um, these are some limitations. Once you do that, you lose control over what portion of the image shows. So we're just going to set all of these back to this style. And there you go. So that's one way you can do a collage. Another way, let's say you want to do a mosaic. So it'll just kind of sort the photos however you want. You can hit shuffle pictures and it'll resort them um, in a variety of different uh, positions. But let's say you know you want to change this image. Again, just hit view and edit and you can crop it again. So it's less of the background and more of the main part of the image. Just hit apply, go back to the collage and it'll fix it up. You can add some spacing, shuffle the pictures a little bit more, and maybe you want to um, get rid of one of these pictures. Let's get rid of this one. And then it'll change up the photos again. So you do have to be conscious of the dimensions of the photos and things of that nature. And also you can just do the frame mosaic option, which is kind of similar, or the grid option, which actually looks kind of cool. Um, so that kind of wraps up the different little tools and ways to use a collage um, so that you can make your photos show up the way you want them to, so everything looks clean and polished and professional. Thank you so much for tuning in to Page Ray Tutorials. We hope you enjoyed these lessons on how to make your own designs using Picasa. And we'll bring you more lessons like this in the future. Thanks so much.